Hey everyone, my name is Hans. I'm one of the co-founders here at Lionbull AI. And today uh, I'll walk you through our platform, Lionbull AI, and show you exactly what it is that we do, how we do it, and who it is for. And hopefully after this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what we do, but you'll also have a much better idea whether or not Lion is something that you should be using in your day to day. So the idea of this video is to provide you with a bit of a demo so you'll be able to make an informed decision whether or not Line is for you. But don't worry um, if you're still not 100% sure or you just want to try it out for yourself. Remember that we offer 25 free credits as a trial. So whenever you sign up for your free trial, you'll get full access to the app, no restrictions, and you're able to generate 25 lines for free. So now that now that that is out of the way, let's jump in to the actual app. So once you sign up, log in, this will be the first screen that you'll see. And we have two options here that you can choose as your data source. So the first option is to find your own contacts using our Chrome extension. So you'll be able to install the Chrome extension and then on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can take whatever search you have. Um, and you can extract that and we'll find a professional emails for these people. So that's one way to get started, or you can get started with your own data. So you, if you, for imagine you're using Apollo or you're manually scraping data or you're using a different data provider, you can upload your data right here and then we can create lines for you. Now, if you want to know more about our Chrome extension, then on login, there's a separate demo right here. And we also have a separate page that you can find on line.ai that goes a bit deeper into what the uh, Chrome extension can and cannot do. So um, once you have your data, you can start creating lines. Now, as you can see, we have two options right here. So there are the no touch lines and the classic lines. And uh, the description already says it all. You know, so does the name. So no touch lines, they're really meant for, for going full autopilot for putting you can for putting your campaigns on full autopilot. So if you don't want to do any, any manual checking, then in this case, we'll provide you with lines based on LinkedIn profiles. There will always be an eight, but they will never be a nine or a 10. But then again, they'll never be a five or a six either, meaning that uh, you can just take your results, you can um, upload them to your, or synchronize them to your email automation software, and you can start your campaigns. So those are no touch lines. And again, we'll, we'll show you, I'll show you some examples in just a second. And then there are the classic lines. So those are um, a lot more personalized. So they're more in depth. Uh, they're a little bit more volatile. So as I said, they're usually a nine or a 10, but every now and then a five or a six is in there that needs a little bit of changing. Um, or that maybe talks about a subject that you personally wouldn't uh, would prefer to talk about. And that's something that uh, most people, they get rid of by getting their results, downloading them and quickly skimming through them, maybe swapping out some lines that they don't really like and then uploading to their automation software. So to get started, we'll start with both right here. Um, then the plan is for you to upload a CSV file. So we can try and find a CSV file right here. As you can see, we have plenty of CSV files. So then these are all your personalization sources that you have right here. Now, if at any point you're, um, you need a bit of a reminder of, of what is what, then you can just hover over the question mark right here. And it will show you exactly uh, what these sources mean. So um, just to quickly touch on all of those. So personal content, for example, is where we try and find podcast appearances, maybe events that, they, that these people have spoken at. Um, or maybe blog futures, webinars, Substack articles, etc. Then there's the personal LinkedIn where we will look at their personal LinkedIn about section. The no touch ones we already mentioned, and I will show you the exact examples of what that output looks like in just a second. Then case studies will look at company case studies. So imagine that an SEO company, they published a case study that is called how we helped Apple increase organic traffic by 300% using these simple tactics. Then uh, it will talk about that case study about you know helping Apple increase their, their organic traffic. Recent news looks at recent company news, funding news, hiring, anything else. Um, company website is generally a bit of a more generic one. So it looks at what that company does and what that business does. 
at their value proposition and based on that it will write an intro however if you're reaching out to e-commerce companies this one's actually pretty cool because we're usually able to see what that company is selling and then based on that it will write an introduction so if you're reaching out to e-commerce companies then definitely keep the company website one on and see what that looks like for you and then blog post it will look at a company blog post and it will write something based on that so once you have your favorites uh, selected, then make sure you rank them. So how this works is as a, like a waterfall method. So you can think about it um, uh, as if you're instructing an SDR or VA on their first days. You can tell them, listen, first try and find recent news of that company. If you cannot find anything, see if that person maybe has been on the podcast. Uh, otherwise, look for a blog, uh, then case studies. And uh, as a last resort, look at their LinkedIn about section, for example. So that's how you rank these, how you can set your source priority. And then as a pretty cool bonus feature, we also provide matching subject lines. So um, the case study, for example, that I mentioned earlier, that talks about helping Apple increase organic traffic by 300%, uh, a, magic, a matching subject line to that intro would, for example, be Apple case study or um 300 increase or apple organic traffic so you have that subject line that ties directly into the intro so if you combine those two that email preview will will, will look really personalized and look really good and in a controlled environment some of our users did a, did a case study they managed to um uh, to get a 200 percent increase in open rate so altogether that's a pretty powerful combination once you have your settings set how you want them uh, you can hit confirm and then all you'll have to do is to map all the fields so as you can see my csv i have quite a few uh, quite a lot a lot of fields um, however many you map is completely up to you so if for example you are going with the no touch lines and all we need is the personal linkedin url and that's that but if you're going, if you want more in-depth personalization, obviously we would require a little bit more, um, a little bit more input from your end. So in that case, you would map the website, the first name, last name, company name, job title, and then we know exactly who that person is that we have in front of us, and then we're able to find more information on that person. And then also keep in mind that whatever you map as input will also put in the output file. So if you want your output file to have certain fields, make sure that you put that in here as well. Then once that is done, we'll start scanning uh, and you can find your scans right here under lines. And once those are ready, uh, you can either download them from there and then you'll have uh, CSV files or you can synchronize them. So we have a bunch of integrations that you can use and uh, you can synchronize them directly with your full outreach software. And that way you can reach out on autopilot. Then um, let's dive into some no touch examples first. So as you can see, we have a bunch of LinkedIn profiles here, LinkedIn URLs. It's important that these uh, they should be regular LinkedIn profiles. So we don't work with sales navigator URLs just yet. Um, neither do we work with uh, what I call like encrypted URLs, whatever you would call those. So it, as a like a rule of thumb, is they need to have the person's name in there. Then based on that, we're able to find up to 12 different personalization points um, based on either the educational experience. So, hey, I see that you attended Cornell, go big red. They just learned it's the only public the, uh, Ivy League school, or um, it's interesting that the Oracle Lab used to be a factory, but also based on maybe famous people who went to that same university um, or maybe the, the, the university dining room, for example. If you feel like, hey, listen, that's probably not a great fit for the people who I'm reaching out to. Don't worry, you have up to 12 different points. For example, um, a personal transition one, saw you move from A to B, curious to understand how to influence your path, and then different variations of that. But also um, personal awards. So a nice job in the award from Converse to Chicago Social Media and Mobile Marketing Conference, which is a mouthful. Um, or notice you received an award from Silicon Valley, IWCA, YWCA, as you probably say. Um, so it was, it's able to look at personal publications, volunteer experience, personal transitions, awards, uh, local observations, and then you can use those throughout your entire sequence. So the cool bit here is that we also, we suggest like certain intros and PS sections. So you could say, 
Um, like, hey, John, saw in your profile, you went to Cornell, go Big Red. I know Tony Morrison also went there. That's incredible. Um, this is what we do. Is that something you're interested in? Um, uh, if, if so, let me know. Best, Hans, um, PS, uh, read that you went to Cornell, go Big Red. So in this case, that's potentially not uh, the best transition, um, but a good PS section there actually would be you enjoy eating at North Star Dining, North Star Dining Room when you were in college. So your intro would be Sonia Profi, you went to go, you went to Cornell, go Big Red. I know Tony, Tony Morrison also went there. Um, and then the PS section, uh, you enjoy eating at North Star Dining Room when you were in college. So you have your entire email so you have your email with a personalized intro personalized ps section and then because we have um uh, options up to up to 12 you're able to personalize your entire seeking so then for your follow-up uh you can say hey just checking in is this and is this and that something that's currently on your radar uh ps saw you move from a to b curious to understand how you influence your path so you're able to personalize your entire sequence and we've ranked these so that you can then say okay, you know what um actually i like intro one and i like ps3 uh usually so you can then set up your templates that way so those are no touch lines and then um, the simpler ones um as in the simple ones to explain are our classic ones so they're obviously a lot more in that so congrats on the improvements you made to carlo it's great that you were able to reduce latency by 10 20 percent in china romania impressive so that's a case study line and as i said um, earlier you'll have a matching subject line which in this case is your work for carlo um around techcrunch.com that you partner with Fison to ensure packets are delivered no matter where you are that's a great move especially for those who are traveling abroad subject line your partnership with Fison. so those are intros that you would expect from from your sdr we're able to write those using ai plus we're able to um, have a matching subject line with that so altogether that's definitely pretty cool and that's uh that's something that um, people, they see uh, open rates increase by 200% reply rates. Some people have literally 10x their reply rates, but most people see like a 2 or 3x in their, their warm responses. So that's, as far, that's uh, as far as we'll go when it comes to examples. Then in the actual app, I already mentioned that you'll have the option to sync. So you'll have uh, integrations, which you can set up in your profile right here. So here in your profile, uh, you'll have integration. So we currently integrate with 100, Milkshake, Lemlis, Close, Wavo, Woodpecker, and then Reply, Snob, uh, probably HubSpot and a few others are coming up as well. So make sure that you're always checking our integrations page. Um, then we have a referral program where we'll share, um, uh, we'll let you share lifetime in whoever it is you bring in. Um, and that's that you can upgrade from your profile. It's completely 100% self-serve. And then still, if you might, if you have any questions, anything that maybe isn't hundred percent clear, we're in chat right here, almost 24 seven. So that's us. That's line AI. Um, if you want to try us out, as I mentioned, you'll get 25 credits for free. So just online AI, sign up for your free trial and you can try it out for yourself for any questions, just reach out, happy to help for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.